Hi, I'm Nicole Snell, and uh, Jamie Snell is my father. Um, I believe I was about four when the wrongful conviction occurred, and they took my dad from me. Um, so, for the past 14 years, I've lived without really knowing what it's like to grow up with a father. Um, and I think what people need to realize is that when people support my dad, they support my family. And, you know, we all appreciate it. We may not be very vocal in it, but we do appreciate it. And um, there's no words to describe how much we appreciate it. Um, you know, when I was a child and I rode the bus to school, at elementary school, I used to sit there and look out the window and I'd imagine my dad coming by in the car and taking me off the school bus and taking me home and I wouldn't have to go to school that day, you know, and he'd be home and he'd be free. You know, that's just something that I always thought about. <laughs> that was my little fantasy as a child and it's something that still kind of haunts me to this day because I don't think anybody will ever really understand how much this has affected my family. I mean, I know that I would be a different person if my dad would have been here. I may have been better, I may have been bad, but I would be different. You know, I don't know who I'd be. I don't know who my family would be. I'd, I wouldn't have gone through some of the things that I've had to go through in life. And I just, it's undescribable how much this has affected not just my dad's life, but his family, you know, and me, and my mom, and my sisters, and my brothers, you know, and even my aunts and uncles, you know, everybody that knew and loved my dad have been affected by this. And, um, you know, I've had to, to grow up with a little less than other people because of it. I have a single mom, you know, she's raised five kids all by herself. Um, my parents, Jamie and Tammy, have both pushed me to strive to be better, you know, than what the justice system has done to us. And so because of that, I've, I've graduated high school. I'm currently enrolled full-time in college. You know, I'm going to be a vet one day, unless I change my mind. And um, I'm trying to continue to make them proud, you know, and to show them that I won't let this affect me, because that's something that has been a big point in me growing up, is not to let this affect me. There's no helping it. It will affect me, but I can choose how it affects me, and I will not let it affect me in a negative way, because I'm, I'm better than that, and at this point, you know, I just want to make my dad proud as much as I can, and um, it's hard because I don't have a car, I don't have even a license, I take the bus to school, I go to work every day, you know, I have a part-time job, and the only reason that I continue to strive for better things and to continue to try to better my life is because I hope that one day I'll be a stronger person and my dad will be sitting next to me, you know, and we'll be living a normal life again. And until then, I will strive to make my life as best as I can, you know, and I just, I don't understand. As I get older, I realize, you know, how often wrongful convictions occur and it just, it amazes me because I don't understand how this could happen so often to so many people and nothing's done about it, you know? Because if you think about it, one person is sentenced to life in prison or put on death row, but they're not the only ones affected. You're sentencing their children to a dadless life, you know, a fatherless life. You're sentencing them to 
just hurt and confusion and, you know, not understanding how to accept it because it's not normal. I can't go on Google and say, my dad was wrongly convicted, where do I go now? What do I do now? You know, it's something that does happen a lot but isn't talked about, you know. It's not talked about and it just doesn't make any sense to me. And I just, I want more people to pay attention, you know, because not only my dad should get free, you know, and get his wrongful conviction overturned, but anybody who's had to deal with this, you know, everybody deserves better. And I believe that, you know, Bill Little would want his murderer to be in prison for life, not my dad. You know, I think the person that did this, that actually did it, will have to live with themselves. But my dad should not live with somebody else's mistake. Because my dad is an innocent man. And I'm just going to close this now before I get too emotional. And um, just let everybody know that I appreciate all your support and I'm looking forward to the day that, you know, all the hard work pays off and my dad's here. So thank you all for listening, for watching. Um, thank you, Dad, for caring and striving to make me a better person as best as you could. I love you. I love you all. Thank you.